What's up all you cool kids? This is Daisy Collins of TsunamiRose.net coming at you guys from my craft room here in Las Vegas, Nevada as I do Monday to Friday bringing you junk journal content and videos. How is everybody? I hope everybody had a good weekend. Sorry I didn't go live on Friday but I was in a hurry trying to get my dang Valentine's Day junk journal pages designed. And that was the next thing I wanted to do for this journal. <clears throat> but of course, one half, one thing has to come before the other. Miss Patricia, hi, Miss Patricia, how are you? So I do have new sets of junk journal pages in my store. They are these really cute, soft, romantic, shabby chic papers. I printed on the back of my um, Valentine's Day collage pages. Hi, Miss Gigi, how are you? How are you, Miss Gigi? So I'm trying to <clears throat> get these uh, pages here organized. I'm still trying to figure out if I need to print more things or what I need. I'm going to cut these few pages up and then I'm going to decide. And then these are my um, Valentine's, Valentine's Day Journal cards. But some of them are big enough to use as signature pages. I still print them a little bit smaller. I print everything at 8 by 10 for my own junk journals. Um, so everything sits nice and right. Like I said, these are like gigantic uh, journal cards. Um, but I cut them down and they're perfect for pages. Okay. So let me see here. We gotta do a little bit of math. I know, I don't like math, but we gotta do a little bit of math. I should probably write this down somewhere to keep, but I don't. <laughs> but anyways, um, <clears throat> I normally put 13 pages per signature. So I need to decide how many pages of what I'm gonna have. So I have journal cards, I have journal pages, then I also have um, ephemera pages to put in. Like this one is not exactly Valentine's Day, but it's vintage ephemera. And then as well as I have one, I have to put a uh, paper, paper bag and I have to put uh, the journal like line paper, graph paper, book paper, etc. So I need to write. I need to break down here like a little combo of how many of what I need to have because that's the only way that I can think about it and plan it out clearly. So journal pages specifically, the ones that I designed. So from the junk journal kits, I need three of those. I always do three of those per signature. So oh, this one's for the red one too. Oh, it's not even for this. Oh, yeah, and I'm doing two pink journals and one red, I decided. <laughs> so journal pages are like these. These are my three journal pages that would go in my signature. So three JJ pages. Okay. <clears throat> and then I believe I was going to add one of the giant journaling cards. So one... V day JJ card. Okay, so that's four pages. So now I need nine more pages. <laughs> I was gonna add one of the ephemera pages, just regular ephemera. This one has some of my bird ephemera, and then this is one of my roses or one of my floral ephemera sets. So that's going to be there. So one, I'm going to call it ephemera page. Okay. Okay. So now that is five pages. Right. And then I'm going to, uh, so that's five pages. Okay. Um, 
we're going to have one paper bag. All right. So that's six pages. Um, I was going to add, what else did I going to add? I was going to add, oh yeah, the paper, the book pages and the line pages. <clears throat> so seven, uh, we could add seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, wait, wait, eight. So I still have six, right? So I'm going to put three, no, I'm going to put four lined pages. And we'll, two, we'll put two book pages. Right, so if my math is right, <laughs> six, six, ten. Okay, <clears throat> we could put uh, possibly, should we put two ephemera pages? We could put two ephemera pages. <clears throat> Do you have several? sets to pick from that would be adequate. All right. Let's do that. We'll put two there. So six, 10, 13. So there's all the pages that I'm going to need to put together. I always have to do this before I start getting all these pages together. Otherwise I forget. And I like to have certain order and then also kind of like repeat that order. So if I have these pages for every single signature, I can then go and kind of like make one signature and then copy that for all of the signatures for all of the books that I'm doing. Okay, 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 okay. So that's what we need then. I wanna make sure I have that. And I'm only doing this for three journals, so that's it's like nothing for me. I'm used to making like eight to a dozen at a time. Okay, so for this signature here, and this is for my pink journal, I'm making two pink journals, one red. So I got three of my junk journal pages here. Let me make sure I'm in line here. Three junk journal pages, check. One of the ephemera cards, check. And then we're going to have two of these. I'm going to have to cut out more. going to have two of these. Let's find that they're like roses because, of course, roses are for Valentine's Day. So, two ephemera pages. We're going to need paper bags and we're going to need line pages. Oh my gosh. Let me make sure I got these first. So, we got uh, that for one signature. Okay. And you know what? Let me get my. This starts getting a little complicated. So, I do like to bust open my giant paper clips. I love these giant paper clips. Hi, Miss Tanya. Thank you, Miss Patricia. It, honestly, I just will forget. <laughs> if I don't write things down, I will forget. Oh my gosh, you know what? I forgot. These doilies, these doilies will serve as my second ephemera page. Hello. Hello. Yes, that's going to happen. Uh, I have a set of doilies. I, I need to, I'm going to release a set of Valentine's Day doilies tomorrow. You know what? Let me get that done tomorrow. And so I'm going to switch the new designs up with these ones, but we'll put these as a placekeeper. Um, I have these awesome doilies in my shop. I scanned them myself and they're just perfect to, um, uh, I like to cut out the edges on some of them when it's possible, but some of them are pretty easy. Little, some of them are a little bit more elaborate that I just don't wish to get into. And so I kind of just don't. You'll see what I mean. But these awesome doilies, that'll serve as my second ephemera page. Oh, that is so beautiful. Okay. I glad I'm, I'm glad I pulled them out because I would have forgot. <laughs> I almost still forgot and I pulled them out. So that's how that's how my mind is that fast. <laughs> okay. Am I is my connection good with everybody else? Is my connection good? Um and like I said, this is where I get my, my giant paper clips to further organize myself because I I know myself. 
Okay, so second pink journal. These are all my new uh, Valentine's Day printables, basically, here. They are so cute. I love them. Okay. So, you got my little formula over here. I always have my formula. I need three journal pages. So, here is one I want to do. I, I'm even going down to the detail. Like, this heart here has no border. This one here has a, a gold border. But also, I could go by the papers on the back. Do I want those papers? Do I want this paper instead? I kind of like... I want one of these in every... In every... In... Um, I guess every journal or maybe every signature. We'll see how it was. Did I add one here? Oh, yeah. Okay. So one has there. Okay. 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 Freaking out. Freaking out for no reason. Okay. Okay. So you see, I, I printed on the back a scrap of paper there. So I have a little bit of a difference. Was that only one signature? Oh, yeah. That was only one signature. I have three signatures per journal. So hello. I'm not even done with the first set. Okay, so three journal pages and one of the Valentine's Day journal cards. Which I already have that in um, in this signature here. So I'm gonna pick. I'm gonna pick something else. I guess I'll pick. What do I have? Do I have? Oh yeah, there's this one over here too. We'll add that one to that one. And then two ephemera pages, which is going to be these right here. I'll pick that one because it has beautiful rows. And then it's going to have one of these. And this is the second ephemera page. Okay, so third signature now. We're in the third signature. I've got to do a little, little move to get in the mood. Okay. <laughs> and I'm going to pick this one here because it's cute. Oh, we should get one of these lined ones. Oh, yeah, this one has a one of my um, pink floral pages on the back of it. Because I actually don't have scrap of paper. So, like, in a pinch, I don't... There's no shops right now that have Valentine's Day stuff out yet. At least not the scrap of paper stuff that I've seen. So, it's time to print stuff out. That's what I've been doing. Okay, so one more journal page. Oh, this one's red. This one's red. Okay, so this one's red. That one's over there for now. I'm going to need a gold frame here. Did I already use this page? Just check. I also got to make sure I'm not using the same journal pages. Because I think I printed out two sets. If I'm not mistaken. But I don't think I did here. Oh, that last page is the same. Right? Let me see. Yeah, that's the same. So, switch that out with, with what? Oh, you can use one of these. It's just a lined page. So that'll work. Okay, so three journal pages. Uh, Valentine's Day card, which... Um, I'm going to pick that one. Two ephemera pages. So we're going to do. Sure, why not that one? And then this one. Oh, wait, no. We're going to do this one. And then I got to pick one of these. I forgot. These are the. Uh, this is the second page. We'll pick. And. These, they're, like I said, I'm going to put out a set of Valentine's Day themed ones. But right now, these are going to be placeholders for that idea. Because I need to make it actually happen first. Okay. So now this is on my printed pages for first journal, pink journal. Okay. So there's one. Hi, Beverly. How are you? Give me one moment.
Okay, so if you're just joining me, I am trying to figure out what all pages are going to go in my journals. I'm making a total of three Valentine's Day journals. Two are pink, and one is going to be red themed. I have uh, pink and red themed printables in my shop. I'll post the link right now. And right now I'm trying to figure out um, how many pages more I need to print or if I'm done printing. Okay, so this is the first book. I need one more pink. Did I print out enough? Let's see. Well, I certainly printed out enough journal cards here. Certainly. That's a journal page. Okay, cool. Okay, let's see how many journal pages we have. I need a total of, what, nine? Yeah, because three. <clears throat> I do a little bit of math um, when I uh, figure out what I'm going to put all in my journal pages. I put 13 uh, pages per signature. So I broke it down as I'm going to do three junk journal pages printed for my shop. Uh, one of the... Um, Valentine's Day Journal cards, which actually print out bigger, but I resize it to be eight, eight by 10 when I print it out with my printer uh, software. And then I'm going to put one page of ephemera and one page of a doily. And then I still have to collect one paper bag, four line pages, and two book pages. That's like my little formula of what I need for each signature. So let's see how many journal pages I have here. I have three fives, so I am missing four. Okay, let me go to my printer hang on because, because, because I gotta see what pages I have loaded in here. Okay, here's one journal page, here's two, and here's three. Let me print on these. What am I gonna print? What am I gonna print, Bobo? What am I going to print? I don't know. What are you going to do, Mama? <laughs> okay, I'm just going to look over those pages. Sometimes it's a lot easier to, like, scroll through my shop than it is to scroll through my computer. So let me see. Journal pages. What am I going to see? Why can I see it? Okay, there it is. Ah, uh, let's do... Boo-boo! Sorry, my cat is moving my camera. He's playing with a little bread tag. He's literally moving my camera. Oh, yes, we can print these. These are pretty. My uh, collage diary paper set 46. Let's go to set. 46 and let's print that beat out. It's a pretty neutral paper, but it's really cute still. And print. Okay. So once those are done, oh, I needed a uh, four, right? I only printed four. Oh, I know. We'll print one of these line pages on the back. Print. Okay. So the journal part I print at 8 by 10, and then on the back I'll print it at a regular. My printer still prints a border, leaves a border, but I'll print it at the larger size on the back. And like I said, sometimes I have a scrap of paper like that. There's just different papers you can print on the back of, which is fun. So we'll need three ephemera pages here. Pick these. And then we need three doilies. So we'll pick these, why not? <clears throat> and then we need three of these journaling cards. I haven't used this one in one. Uh, so I'll do that one. We'll do these three. Okay, that'll work for me. All right, so I didn't overprint, at least. At least not too much. 
If I don't write things down like that, I will overprint, which is honestly a problem. Uh, my printer's so good with ink that I just kind of overprint all the time. Thank you, Miss Gigi. Thank you so kindly. And I got to figure out the red one, too. But I'll figure that one out later. I'm kind of want to obsess over the pink ones for now. So I got to have, uh, I need a total of six paper bags then because each one, each signature I add a paper bag to. So let's see what we're going to do. I'm going to pull out my paper bag stash because I love going through it. I got all these at um, on Amazon, so nothing fancy. But, oh, I have this paper, this red paper dot. No, red polka dot paper bag. Again, I got all these on Amazon. So we got one of those. Silver, I guess I could use a silver one. It's nice and like kind of shiny on the silver part. Okay, so we'll... Little... So that one's cute. So we'll do the nice silver. And this is, I bought these, but they're like smaller than I expected. Oh, 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 we gotta get one of these awesome vintage looking paper bags. So that's one signature's worth. Okay, okay, and I have Valentine's Day paper bags? No, I don't. I don't have a batch of, I don't have a place for Valentine's Day stuff yet. I have to start with them. So maybe I'll make them all the same then. Well, I only have one more to do. I keep saying all, because like I said, I'm used to making like a dozen journals at a time. And today we're only making three. And that's weird. And it just feels a little bit Okay, so I am going to I'm gonna pull out enough for the two signatures I'm gonna work on. So that's our doing a little red polka dot, silver, and uh craft with black ink. And these bags that I bought, I think they're gonna fit most themes really Christmas. And look now I'm using it for Valentine's Day. <laughs> Oh, and you know what? I also need doilies because I like to add doilies to my signatures. So let's see. I have this one. And this one oh, I do have this polka dot. This red polka dot one. Really cute. Really cute. Is angry at me, so hang on. Page over here. I think we're just going to do one more. Okay, we're multitasking here. We're moving. We're moving. We have some doilies. That'd be fun. Again, everything's from Amazon. Uh, okay, so I'm going to add three, two doilies for signature. I don't really count the doilies because they're so thin. They don't count to me. They're like air. Mm -hmm. Okay. So we need three of these because I'm for signature. Um, I was supposed to go to California this weekend, but I guess I'm not. <laughs> um, <clears throat> my husband hung out with somebody uh, on Saturday, and they ended up testing uh, positive, of course. <laughs> So now I'm not going to go to California because I was going to go stay with my cousin and I don't want to risk her kids. I'm fine. I mean, as of right now, I'm fine. But I just don't. I, I, I was going to go. Call, I was literally on my way to go see my mother when we got this call. And I, I called my mom. I'm like, uh, do you still want me to come over? She's like, no. 
<laughs> so now I'm not going nowhere. <laughs> now I'll just be here working on these journals. Okay, so I got this nice pink, nice shade of pink. Um, I need one more color. I think it's like two. Should the blue? The blue would be kind of cute. Or green. Everything has green in it. This would be the green. Blue would have been cute too, but let's just do green. Okay. Okay, shove all this back in here. Okay, we are getting organized. So we'll be off. Um, also, uh, do I still have? Oh, 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 this is great. I'm so traumatized by my neighbors slamming their door. They just slammed their door and I was like, ah, not again. <laughs> okay, so I gotta get that last page that I just printed out. Okay, so where do you get your doilies, Daisy? I got them from Amazon. Oh, let me see if I can find the link because I know I just have the link. It's this really awesome multicolor pack. <laughs> and let me see if I can find it. Brown, blue. Okay, it's, I think it's this one. Let me just check. Let me check, let me check, let me check. Paste. Oh my god, my mouse. Sometimes my mouse doesn't like to work on this surface. Oh yeah, this is it. This is it. This is it. Jen, the boss lady is here. Okay, so mini round colorful paper lace doilies. As well as these 600 piece round white paper doilies. Which is this one. It's actually a variety pack of white paper doilies, which are awesome. Different sizes on those. I love those. What's up, Jen? What's up? And I do also have links to the bags if anybody's interested. Actually, I have links to everything, apparently. <laughs> I use the red. And these are actually a really good deal. I only buy stuff if it's a good deal, honestly. So here's the red polka dot bags if you want to see the bags oh and then the the newsprint paper bags those are the best newsprint craft print paper bags i had a shower so i didn't stink for work. good because you would have been fired i'm just kidding uh no for real um uh and then the oh no silver I didn't believe, no, I didn't do that. Okay, so I posted the links. Okay, that's what I got. That's what I got. Okay, so these doilies. Okay, so let me see. Where were these supposed to go? Where were these supposed to go? I think these were done. And I think this is what I was working on here, actually. So, doilies and bags. Hang on, I'm trying to trying to make my hands work here. Oh my gosh. Okay. Whoa, why are you so silly? He wants the door open, but he doesn't want to go in. He just wants the door open. Okay, so there's that pack there. You're right, Jen. I apologize. She's going to fire me off. She's going to fire me. One, two, three. Okay. Three. Okay, 
page. So now we need nine pages, and I believe we have five, three, five. And then here is, I'm making sure they're not the same pages, and they're not, because I have a, there's a dozen pages on the set, and I only have nine of them, so. They're not repeating, so that's good. So there's that. The ephemera. Oh, here's the pocket. I can say there's the pockets. Pockets. The doilies. Now that we're all settled here. It's like a freaking bag of uh, barrel monkeys. <laughs> They're all together. Give me one moment. Okay, so <clears throat> I have these leftover packets from Christmas journals I didn't get to finish. But they're not just Christmas journal kits. They are also, they pretty much have everything I need to make a journal in here, a three signature journal. So let's see what I actually put in here, what I need for this journal. Oh, I don't, can't use those for pages of Christmas book pages. Okay. Let's see. Yeah, no Christmas book pages at all. Needed. No problem, Miss Gigi. Okay, so these are all Christmas pages. Okay, good for you. Here's what we want. This is what we want. Here we need we need four line pages per signature. So I need twelve. So three of each, four types of paper. One, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. Just gonna see all your paper. Done. The book paper. I need to get book paper. Get that in a moment. Okay, so that's done. Let's get the next book. I just watched the last Toy Story movie recently. Yo, that last Toy Story movie was very weird and very dark. And I didn't realize it until the movie was over. Maybe it's because I have dark humor. I was like, wait a minute. I don't remember Toy Story being so freaking dark. Like, real dark. That sh Sorry, that ish. <laughs> I almost said it. That ish. Got real dark, yo. I don't know. I don't even know why. Jeez. I mean, I went to go see that movie when I was a kid, and so now as an adult, I'm like, oh, this is hilarious. But then at the same time, I'm like, these are really adult kind of jokes and humor. Like this, I I don't have children, but I was like, this is this is not for kids. As you get along, the Toy Story movies, it's like this is no longer for children anymore. Like, even uh, Toy Story 3, I thought was a little adultish. Um, and it goes to college is the last one I saw. Yeah, that's three. Okay, so here's the um, lined paper. And so now we need two book pages. So we need a total of 12 book pages. Okay, so three types of... Uh, is it three types of, uh, no, two types of book pages, three times each, times two, so 12. <laughs> so four, four, hang on, hang on, my brain doesn't work like that. I'm looking over my book pages, oh, 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 oh. 
I still have this cottage life form. Although it's sad that that would be cut down the middle. He makes me cry when he goes with his toys to eat yeah, that's um, Let's see here. Book pages, book pages. What do I got? You can add a cooking book page. I don't have four of these pages. <laughs> okay, booking one. Booking a cooking cookbook page It's 10 o'clock and my nose is like, oh, okay, let's go. <laughs> like, let's go right now. Let's go. I keep my book page in a, book pages in a filing cabinet. Okay. I don't know if these will work. We should work. I have this book about roses, so it's going to be pretty much another rose journal, another floral journal. <laughs> Miss Jen, I ran out of those pages. Can you believe it? Right before this project, I ran out of those pages. It's so sad. Okay. So then that should be it. These two, I have to make the one for the red. But, oh, haha. <laughs> you only get three silly. Look how pretty this got. Beautiful roses. Roses everywhere. Oh, yeah. You get three. You get three. And then you get three of these. Of these. Okay. So those are the pages I need. And I was gonna go live for longer, but my nose is just like not stopping at all. So I'm gonna leave it here. Um, I'm gonna cut them down uh, tomorrow. And we'll get them organized and we'll possibly sew on ruffles. Or rather, I have to make ruffles first to put them in here. But that is pretty much how I get my um, signatures organized and ready to like put together. It's all very, very much step by step and it's a very slow process for me. But it kind of works out the way that I like it and... Um, so I need to cut all these down to eight by 10, fold them in half. That's going to be my next big task um, before, like I said, we put them together signatures and then we can make um, trim because I don't have any more trim. So I have to make trim so that we can progress on our little, um, on our little journey here. Anyways, I'm going to log off for now, but like literally I can't breathe. <laughs> Okay, you guys, again, here's my little formula for my signatures. I only put 13 pages per signature. Um, for me, it's usually it's around this amount of pages. Um, I added three drum journal pages from a kit. And this is kind of so it doesn't look like it's all from a kit, right? So I kind of like to put in regular pages, not all just journal kit pages. 
So there's three junk journal pages, one Valentine's Day journal card, which you could switch out for any journal cards, um, two ephemera pages uh, printed, that, those are all printed, and then paper bag, one paper bag, four lined pages, and then two book pages. So that, that is, adds up to 13. So I hope everybody has a good night, and I will see y'all tomorrow. Bye.